All right, you guys, so we have a little replay analysis right here. And I'm going to be going over this Pudge game that I played the other day. Now, I've been playing a lot of Pudge in this patch. And I think he's actually pretty good. And this is a good example of some things I want to talk about this game right here. Now, the way I've been playing Pudge is kind of a roaming support, a roaming ganker. I don't like to support at level 1 because having a win lace early on is really good. So I think these starting items are kind of a good sweet spot. You get one ward, one smoke. The ward bench has to do everything else, okay? Now in this game, it was kind of a funny game because I'm always talking about how my teammates don't speak English. And I swear, in this game, you guys, I didn't, I've didn't. i never had more of a team that is just filled with, you know, whiny 18-year-old Americans, okay? And they were so fucking whiny. And it's just a good example of why you don't listen to anybody. Because these kids are fucking shit. They're all 4K dumpsters, alright? And right here... When I'm sitting here, I told my team, I'm going to stack pull and get level 2. And then I'm going to go roam. And I stuck to my guns, you guys. I gave them explicit, informative, uh, whatever the fuck. I told them exactly what I was going to do. And I did it. And they were crying at me right here because I wasn't going to go gank level 1. They're saying we can kill level 1. And right here, they're flaming me because I'm waiting to stack pull. My terror blade's fucking feeding. All right, but I knew. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to stack pull. I'm going to get level two. I'm going to get my guaranteed level two because this isn't a guaranteed successful engagement right here. All right, that's why I chose to ignore them. And the whole time, they're nonstop talking on the microphone in their, you know, whiny American voice. All right, quite unlike me. And they were just flaming me. And they got a kill because of it. I knew that if I would actually join this engagement, it wouldn't matter. Instead, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to stack pull. These guys are going to do fine. And it's going to be fucking great. But they're just flaming me the whole fucking game. Okay, but let's actually see my contributions to the game. And you see, this is me right here. This is all me. They don't even realize it, but the reason why they they got that kill and the reason why they're zoning them off is because I'm actually making big plays over here. I pulled a creep wave. Okay, that's a big play. And then I'm going to solo smoke. I'm going to pop my HP potion. And then I'm going to head to mid because I'm going to get my gank. But first, I actually go for the bounty room because those are actually pretty important. And then my my team feeds right here. And they're blaming me. They're blaming me even though I told them exactly what I was going to do. They're flaming me on the microphone. They're pinging me out. I told them explicitly what I was going to do. I'm going to stack pull for level 2 and then I'm going to go roam. And they try, to, they try to spin it on me when they fucking feed. And then right here, notice my pinging. Alright? I'm pinging relentlessly because it's as simple as Ember Spirit walking up to the Meepo and using his bolas or his searing chains... Onto the Meepo, and I get a free hook. Let's look at my player perspective. So right here, I start spam pinging. And that should that should signal to the Ember Spirit that it's go time. The problem is he's 4K, and he doesn't realize that he has a smoked pudge in his river, ready to gank the enemy mid laner. Okay, so I'm pinging. I'm telling I'm this basically signals him that he needs to go and fucking do something, and he doesn't do anything. So my smoke gets popped, and then suddenly... The enemy Meepo player hacks into my heatsink, overheats my desk, and causes my membrane keyboard to fucking melt down. So I take some support tax. Alright? I I want here, let's get another look at this. Because this is key information. I came to lane, I had a successful gank, a successful presence, a nice rotation. Unfortunately, the Ember Spirit wasn't on the same page as me. Things don't quite go as they, as planned. So I take some support tax, all right? This is a very high level strategy. When you're making these rotations and you're sacrificing your gameplay for your teammates, you need to determine when it's correct for you to take your compensation. Because of that, I'm able to get my boots. All the while, my team is fucking flaming me. 
okay? They decided to feed the lane while I decided to get some successful rotations. So from my point of view, I'm doing nothing wrong and that these, these guys' flame is actually unwarranted. And they're flaming me the whole game. And I, I'm i actually baiting the Meepo right here. I'm baiting him into the, into the enemy team. But once again, the Meepo player right here hacks into my heatsink, okay? Overheats my mouse pad, causing me to miss the hook. But that was actually, what, what he doesn't actually know is that was a zoning hook. Not meant to connect, only meant to zone him off that location so that it would protect my Ember Spirit while he goes for the rune or whatever he was doing. So I'm going to make my way back to the base. Notice how the axe, meanwhile, made a feed play. Okay, he makes a feed play right here. Not a whole lot you could really do about that. So I walk back to base, and here my team is fighting again. They get a nice little kill right there. That was actually because of me. I was actually the cause of them getting that kill, which is great because I'm able to coordinate things like that. I'm able to do my movements around the map in ways that free up some pressure in these lanes so that they're able to make a nice commitment and get a nice little kill right there. So, all the while, they're still flaming me, and I'm going to make my rotation. I'm going to TP into the shrine, and I'm going to go for the bounty room, because that's what you do. You see, they may think that since I'm not in the lane supporting them, helping them, that I'm being useless. But I've taken three bounty runes, I've had a successful rotation onto the mid lane, and I'm just doing great. You know, the, the lane is winning because of me, and I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make an attempt at killing the army. Now, here's the, here's actually where the problem is. Right here at this exact moment. Actually, th that was the wrong, that's the wrong thing I was thinking about. So, yeah, he denies himself to creeps. And simply by willing it to happen, my axe started doing better in the game. Because at, at, as you remember, when he fed right here, I actually said a little prayer to Banana Slam Jamma. Now... It's come to my attention that a lot of people are actually getting sick and tired of hearing Banana Slam Jim's name in my videos. And I actually take a personal offense to that, you guys. So, anyway. I willed it to happen that Axe would do better in his lane. And he did. But I, and we're still getting to the main point. So, right here, I'm utilizing my strategy that I even made a video on. Okay, this is my li nice little nest right here. I'm just sitting here in my nice little nest, waiting for a good opportunity. And then what does Crystal Maiden do? Let's, let's rewind a bit. What does he do? He sits here, spam pinging me, walks into the enemy team on his own, and then fucking feeds. Okay, all the while flaming on his microphone, Trying to spin this onto me. So I come in here out of my little nest, finally, and I make a big fucking play because they didn't expect Pudge to pop out of fucking nowhere and fucking dumpster them. So while this CM is sitting here pinging me, going AFK, not realizing that the enemies are able to capitalize on him, you know, he's actually just a shit fucking player. Flaming on the fucking microphone the entire fucking game. Or maybe it was the... Maybe it was this guy. I don't remember who it was. I think they were both flaming me, though. And so that's my successful rotation right there. My success... My successful... Whatever... I can't even fucking speak right now. Because I'm getting fucking hacked into right now. Someone's overheating my fucking shit. And so yeah, I get a rune. And actually, I don't get a rune. But I almost got a rune. We use a shrine, I think. Yeah, we use a fucking shrine. We heal up, and I'm still being flamed in this game for no good reason. And all I can do is just kind of sit back, and I see the Meepo TP in, and at this point I said to myself, you know what, this game's fucking over. He has boots of travel, six minutes, the game's over, he hacks into my fucking router right there, overheated my fucking mouse. Things are looking pretty grimy, guys, but it does get better. So let's see, what do I actually do here? Kind of just this is actually strategic play the way I'm roaming around right now. There is some strategy behind this, you just have to take my word for it. There is definitely some strategy going on here. I'm actually, yeah, this is very strategic. Notice how I'm actually just my presence, my unknown presence here is actually able to force the, mo the Meepo to rotate off of this lane. So, those of you guys saying I'm not really accomplishing anything, I'm actually able 
to farm out an entire creep wave, a creep wave. I don't know why I can't fucking speak right now. I'm actually able to farm out an entire fucking creep wave. Maybe I need to take some fucking speaking lessons, you guys. And so once again, my axe, he's feeding. But no one's saying anything about the axe, you guys. It's all the Pudge's fault. Everything is the Pudge's fault. Alright, for some fucking reason. And by the way, that's a new trick with the backpack, you guys. You put the Tranquil Boots into the backpack instead of on the ground. And then you farm the Creep Wave. And that way you don't risk losing your Tranquil Boots. And you still heal relatively fast. So, let's skip a bit. Notice how I'm sitting in my little nest right here. For a good 20 seconds. Protecting the Ember Spirit. And I'm just roaming around at this point. My team is feeding way too hard. I'm able to I'm able to make these kills happen in the bottom lane just by having this presence in the mid lane. And right here it's go time. We finally get that. This is why I'm here in the mid lane. We finally get that kill onto the Meepo. And he is just fucking dead on my fucking screen. And meanwhile, I'm still being flamed the entire game. They're telling me I'm baby raging even though I didn't say a single word in the chat. This kill, all because of me. Actually, he might not even fucking die right here. But anyway, I, I make my way back to base. Head back into the base. I pick up some support items. And I know at this point, I'm actually telling them the black to fuck up because I know they're just going to feed right here because Meepo has travels. He's going to be up soon. And I think someone actually feeds here. So what do I do? I look at bottom. I say, okay, that's a hopeless situation. I have my ulti. I'm gonna go gank anti-mage. I'm gonna go help out this axe. So I, I rotate top. Axe taunt. I ulti. And the anti-mage is dead on my fucking screen. And we get the rot kill because rot is overpowered now. And it lingers on the people. Notice the range on rot is 250. And this right here is 250 range. Okay, that is 250 range in the new Dota 2. 7.00 League of Legends patch. So I get a successful kill onto the enemy carry. Meanwhile, I am being flamed in this game. And it's pretty strange how things work out. And I didn't even say a word, you guys. I'm just trying to keep it PMA in this game. It's, you know, it's really hard, okay? The, pri the previous game, my team was fucking dog shit and we lost. And I, I wasn't quite able to keep it PMA in that game. But I was able to swing around and... You know, not linger on a loss. I tell my axe to gather at the shrine. We get that heal. And then we're going to go find this anti-mage. And we're going to fucking take a dump on his fucking chest. And I actually we run into a caller right here. And I hook the anti-mage. Okay, eat out his fucking asshole. Axe gets the taunt. Now the problem here is that if anti-mage had like treads or something... It's possible that he could have gotten away if he wasn't blindly going Perseverance before Treads because Axe actually used his taunt while he was being ulti. Right here he taunts after there's still 75% of my ulti left. So this is poor play by the Axe. Just thought I'd point that out. And Anti-Mage is fucking dead on my fucking screen. So I kill an enemy hard carry once again. And now I bet these guys are starting to ask themselves, was it really worth it flaming me the entire fucking game? Because now they're actually starting to realize that I'm the best fucking Pudges Wolves ever fucking seen. And hopefully it was a learning experience for them. Alright, even though they don't, they can't comprehend the fact that I just killed the enemy hard carry two times. But that's what happened, and that's a massive play. That's a BSJ level play, in fact. Here goes again my axe, chain feeding. So I think I actually TP, yeah, I TP mid, fill up the Ember Spirit's bottle. Alright, I'm getting flamed. I don't know why I'm getting flamed by my, my, my CM and my 4K Terrorblade when I'm making plays like this. Filling up the Ember Spirit's bottle, then smoking us. And uh, I think I'm on top now. Yeah, axe makes a little feed play right there. Me and the Ember Spirit are smoked. Alright. Crystal Mate, I took control of the Crystal Mate, TP him top. And then we find. And right here, the Anti Mage actually hacked into my fucking router 
overheated my fucking network settings and caused me to hook my own Ember Spirit, okay? Not even kidding, that's actually what fucking happened right there. That one actually took me by surprise. I was not exper I was not expecting to receive such a powerful attack. And right here, I follow the anti-mage, I give him the ulti, and once again, I kill the enemy hard carry. Now, unfortunately, the Ember Spirit is pure fucking dog shit, and he actually gets away right there. So that was that's a worthwhile trade-off. The Pudge, the roaming support Pudge for the enemy hard carry, absolutely worth it, you guys. 100% worth it. Meanwhile, Crystal Maiden is sitting here jerking off, doing absolutely fucking nothing. So let's skip ahead and see what happens. So looks like I'm going to walk mid, and then I... Let's actually just walk. So I'm walking mid. I noticed my Terra, but let's actually, one more time, I know I'm rewinding all. Let's go player perspective, because here's the difference, you guys. Look at me right here. I noticed bottom. I ping him out. I TP. Okay, I can't actually pause and player perspective for some reason. But meanwhile, the CM is just fucking sitting here with his thumb up his fucking asshole, farming a fucking creep wave. I come in. Okay, I immaculately timed the hook. Let's go back to free camera. I TP in. I take control of the Terra Blade, use his ulti on the Meepo, get the kill on the Meepo, and then I save the Terra Blade from their whole fucking team right here. Alright, you see that shit? Meanwhile, I'm being flamed in this game. So, let's skip a bit. Let's actually see what happens. Maybe we should stop skipping, you guys. So, I see a fucking dog shit Omni Knight right here. It's nighttime, so he has no vision of me. He's just sitting here like a fucking dipshit. I just hook him and fucking kill him. And he's fucking dead on my fucking screen. And meanwhile, his 6k Meepo has to witness that. And he's talking shit to the Meepo. To the player that's 2,000 MMR above him. And let's see what else happens. So I go, I eat the shrine, get my fucking healing up. Pop a smoke, get a haste rune. Meanwhile, my axe is making a feed play, possibly. And yeah, we actually dumpstered. I think we dumpstered out the ogre right here. Walk up to him, eat out his asshole. Okay, kill seal with the hook. He's fucking dead on my fucking screen. And this is why you play a roaming pudge, you guys, because you don't need to be in these level one skirmishes. You don't need to have a small chance at winning a level one engagement and then gimping yourself because you're going to be level one at five minutes. If it, I hacked into my heat sink right there. You don't want to be level one at five minutes, you guys. You want to make the strategic smart play, the guaranteed play, get your level two, guaranteed, and then go for those risky engagements. Because at least that way, once you're level two, you can either go bottom, mid, or top. And let's take a look at the CM feeding right here. Yep, just sits here, fucking feeds. Gets a kill on the coddle. But, you know, that, that wasn't worth it at all. That's just to see him feeding. So, here I am. And let's see what happens now. I guess we're just gonna walk back mid. And at this point, I have no items, but I'm saving up for a blink dagger. And let's see what happens. So, right here... Gonna walk up the high ground, my signature move, walking to the whole team. I see a coddle here. Give him a hook. Eat out his asshole. Okay, he's fucking dead on my fucking screen. Anti mage TP's in. Or Meepo TP's in. I back up. And at this point, I'm just sitting and trying to get some wand charges so that I can get some mana for my hook. Now, obviously, the game's fucking over. Let's actually see what happens right here. Yeah, Meepo fucking feeds. And then we have this fucking... I think the Army Knight actually takes control of me somehow. Oh, yeah, we actually... Yeah, yeah. That, that's exactly what happened right here. Let me go back. I actually remember this exact moment. At this exact moment right here... Right here. I was actually noticing that my desk was starting to catch on fire, you guys. So, there was definitely something suspicious happening right there. And then I just farm the creeps. Right, let's see if we do anything else in this game. So yeah, Meepo is just a fucking feeder. The game's over for him. His team is fucking dog shit. They're a bunch of 4k fucking shits. His Omni Knight's 0-4. His offlane ogre is 0-6. So his offlane is 0-10. And they're trying to they're trying to blame it on the Meepo. 
So, and then we have this fucking dog shit fucking meeple right here. We just blink hook him, and he's fucking dead on my fucking screen. We, we blink ulti him, we hook him after, he's fucking dead. And at this point, there's just nothing they can fucking do, you guys. Absolutely nothing they can do. And yeah, his 4k dumpster teammates are trying to blame it on the Meepo. And this is called- this is called the biggest fucking rotation the world's ever fucking seen right here. Look at this, five fucking TPs for the Meepo, alright? And he's fucking dead on my fucking screen. Meanwhile, it looks like our Ember's gonna feed. And I think, yeah, the game is actually fucking over, so... Yeah, I don't know, you guys tell me. Was I worthy of being flamed that game? Just by wanting to get my quick level 2? Should my teammates have been spam pinging me right here, griefing me? And I don't know what the fuck that shit is. Or did I do the right thing? Get my level 2, make those high level rotations. So Chalon Claw, best Oda 2 player this world's ever fucking seen, signing out.